Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Intergalactic Toys and we are coming at you with an episode on this kid's robotics tin can robot. So uh, with me is my son Cameron and he is going to assist us today in building this little robot out of this little tin can. This was a Campbell's chicken noodle soup can uh, and so we just need a can for this project so we picked this one and uh, we've got some batteries. It's going to need batteries. It is for ages eight and over uh, because of the small parts not for three-year-olds on um, down. Okay and in case we need some tools we've got our screwdriver set. Okay so Cameron here is going to show us. He's going to open up the box and we're going to take a look at uh, what we have here, okay, the can. And also then I noticed on the back side of it is um, all the parts of course are laid out, uh, but there's, I guess there's two modes. There's the uh, wobbles as it walks, and then there's this uh, walks horizontally. So that should be interesting. We'll see uh, about that, okay? And it takes, it tells you it takes one AA battery. We all right, so here's our first step. So what we have to do is we're going to take these wires, okay? You got the positive and the negative, which is right here. Can't see it. And uh, there's a couple of little um, holes right there. So this wire is going to go through, the black one's going to go through there, red one's going to go through there. And we have to start putting these, which are going to go around the can, the, uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, they are body rings. That's what they're calling them, okay? And so what we did is we put... As a first step, we went ahead and put the little screw in there, and it's going to take little screws in here in order to, um, that's where these little tiny screws are going to go, okay? And so that's the first step is to go ahead, and if you look here, it's working with the battery, and we're going to connect the wires, okay? Okay, so we tucked the wires through, and on the diagram, you have it like, uh, let's see, it sh actually shows it like this. We haven't uh, put this piece on there. And the wires are crisscrossed. If you see that, I put the wires on each other. Uh, actually, I actually have to redo the black one that came off. There's no wire nuts, uh, so I probably could use some wire nuts. But anyway, we just twisted them around each other. Uh, for some reason, the red was supposed to be in the directions, red by red and black by black, but they're not. And this piece has to go on like this because the screws go into here and here. And so it can only go one way can only go one way on here if you take a look, okay? So there's one and then the other one's on the right hand side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on and that's gonna take a couple of screws. Okay, so here we go. So we have it, it's like this on the diagram, right? And the, so we put in the two screws, one there and one there. We put it from the back side because that's how you have to do it. It's helpful to use a magnetic screwdriver. If you got one of those, I highly recommend it. Now, there's no really no area to put the wires. Look like they're tucked into this box, but they're not. So, um, I mean, they're long. There's nowhere to really tuck them in there. Uh, so um, they're kind of just hanging out for now. I don't think that's going to be a problem. You can um, see this has a couple of right there, and that goes into here. And then right here, there is a screw that goes into that. And so all little screws are the ones that are being used right now. Okay, so you can see right here, we're gonna end up putting another little screw in, okay? So we're gonna go ahead Sorry. Next, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this piece off. It actually comes off right there. And what goes in there is this piece with the gearing, okay? And you can see there's right here, there's a little groove, and that's where this goes, okay? like that, and then there is a screw to put in there according to the instructions. Okay, so we just put this piece back on, okay? So we put that in the grooves, and now you got two screws, one on each side, so we're gonna go ahead and put those in. Okay, so now we went ahead, and you can see we just put the little screws in there. So far, we're only working with the little screws. The big screws are actually for um, holding the can, so when we start using these brackets. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put in, there's, as you can see, there's uh, four more places right here for little screws to hold that together. So we're gonna go ahead and put that, those four screws in real quick. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like from the back side, okay? Everything, all, all the small screws are from the back side, so you got one, two, and then you got three, four, five and six and none of the small screws use the little nuts okay so those little nuts are for the big screws which have to do with the brackets holding the can just so you know instructions you know they have an exploded view of everything as you can see which is great but
but you know they're not that they're not that great. The instructions, of course, they don't. And the reason why is it's exploded diagram, but it doesn't really show different views, so it's kind of hard to see. All right, so that's why we're we're doing a little how to build this. All right, so and there you have it. And then of course there's a screw right there. If I didn't mention that, and one through there. And you have to take this off to get this off in order to put the battery in. And that's okay. So we'll take that off in the end. We'll put the battery in there. Okay. And of course we put the wires correctly, red to red, black to black. All right. Okay. So we figured it out folks, the wiring. Okay, here we go. And be careful because these wires are delicate. You can see this one fell right off. So now I'm gonna have to splice this side, this cable right here to go ahead and go in here. Now, these just fall right out. Unless, of course, these are actually your cable nuts. So they don't come with any of those. Uh, it's actually these, this piece right here. So let me zoom back out. Okay, so now you can see your easiest way is, is to take the wire and put it through from the back, okay? And, and the one that's, uh, I had done the opposite. I had taken the wire and I put it through the back and crisscrossed it. But actually, your better way is to take the wire, as you'll see the piece uh, in the diagram here. Okay, and make that right here, make that come through the slot right here, these two slots instead of the opposite. And then, so you can see it right here, the wire, this black wire is coming through right here. Okay, and the red wire is there. And then you can go ahead and put them together, right? Twist tie them together and then push them in here. So the, what you twist tie together is going to go in here and then you're going to take the clear piece and push it in and that's really your wire nut okay on each side so we're going to okay, go ahead so we stripped the wire here we had to strip it here's this little wire nut that we were talking about so when the wire when you push the wire in there you can see it that just goes in there and you just tighten it okay so that's all there is to that okay i just wanted to show you for the can portion of it that we have this and you have the long screws and a nut, okay, so that uh, is going to, this little arm piece has to go on first and, and the screw through both there and then there and then the nuts on the other side. And the reason for that is because this is what's going to hold these arms on, okay? All right, so we're going to do that next and we'll show it to you. Okay, and make sure that we take this piece, this is the other, the bottom portion of the bracket that's gonna hold the can. And that goes into uh, this right here, you can see. Okay, and sticks nicely into there, as you can see. And it's the same thing, you got the other side of the bracket and we still have a couple more big screws with that. We just don't need the, um, the arm bracket on the bottom, okay? Okay, sorry folks, quick notation on this. I had to take this piece off and it's because to get this bottom bracket on like the top you got to lift this out there's no other way to do it and then you'll see underneath there there you go that hole that's where the screw goes so we're going to drop that screw in that's why you got to have a magnetic screwdriver drop the little screw in there and that's what's going to hold this bottom bracket to this bracket and then we'll be able to put this piece back on right here with the four screws again sorry about that folks we're going to have you watch the whole tutorial uh one time through before you attempt it so you don't have to be taking things apart putting them together again okay i wanted to show you this real quick right here when you're putting this on the nuts okay are righty tighty so you're gonna definitely take put it on and spin it to the right okay and then once you catch a thread then you can put the phillips screwdriver in here and tighten it up it'll tighten up you don't need any little wrench it doesn't come with a wrench but you don't need a wrench Okay, one other piece we want to mention that's supposed to be put on early and it doesn't really matter when you put it on. So I've got the screw in there and it's, it's going to go right here and that's that piece, okay? It's going to go right on the top there. Okay, so there it is installed right here. That's that top piece. You can see it from there where the screw went. Okay, it's the very top. All right, we're getting there, folks. So here you go. Here's a nice view of it. So you can see this is the top right here with the arms and then this is the bottom at some point you can put the can on its side once i put that piece laid it down and now i'm going to go ahead and put in here the these uh, 
the last two screws with the two nuts there. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then uh, what we do is we insert the can. And of course, the different size cans, um, they do tighten down, of course, but you probably can't get a can too big or too small or it's not gonna fit, okay? This is like a soda can size. But again, we're using Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Okay, and you put this little piece right there with a, with a small screw. Okay, and then these right here, we're getting ready to do the eyeballs. So you can see right there, they go like that. These just insert, and then you take a screw, and you put this little screw in there. Okay, so we got um, two of those to do. So you got two wires, two of these the eyeballs, you can see, are going to stick onto there. Okay, onto the, that hard piece. One on each side, and then you bend these wires, and that's where it looks like on the box. Okay, so you can see on the box, the wires are all bent like that. Okay? So we're okay, so there you go. We have one eyeball stuck on. Got something on the lens there. That's not going to matter. Add to this character. All right, so we're back. We just have the arms to put on. Our assistant Cameron is back in action. Put those arms on the can. They just slip right on there. And then you can pose them. So he inserted one on, and now you're going to insert the other. And then remember that they're bendable. Ooh, we put them on backwards, Cameron. So the bendable part goes over here and then the hands go over there. So let's let's flip that real quick. Okay, and one other thing we forgot to mention. So we're gonna actually cut the arms down to size so it look, um, look better. <laughs> and then right here, so these eyeballs go one on each side, uh, one on each side. So we're gonna take these two screws out and then there's a little notch in there and that's where the wire goes and then we'll put the screw back. So we do end up with two extra screws and two extra nuts as extra parts in case we needed them. Okay. All right, so here we are uh, with our completed robot. We have not turned him on, but we are going to. And um, okay, so we tightened everything down. <clears throat> we cut the arms a little shorter, so you can see the little pieces over there. Uh, they're just really too long. These could move down a little bit. His eyeballs, you're gonna position them however you want. Uh, however you want to, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, the wire is bendable, obviously, and so that's what it came out to be. So there you go. If we compare the box to our robot, it looks a little, a little funny. And remember the arms do move. We could cut them a little bit shorter like they are in the picture. And then one thing I want to mention is, uh, I didn't already, is uh, put the battery in, put the screw on right there. But of course the can can go down the other way as well as you saw on the back of the picture. Like, I guess it's like this. Um, so it can look like that as well. All right, so we're, let's go ahead and have Cameron demonstrate. He's going to Flip it on, and I think these are right here are gonna rotate, and then he should he should All move. Right. He should move. All right, ready? Drum roll, please. Let's turn him on. Let's see if he works. <gasps> Whoa, he's going backward. Don't let him fall off. He is working. That is awesome. Oh, maybe even better, huh? <laughs> so he only um. There we go. <laughs> let's, like, let's like he's moonwalking. <laughs> there we go. Hope we didn't wear him backwards. That is crazy. He's like a crab. He's like the crab. <laughs> Look at him. All right. He's battery operated. He is working. Of course, you probably want me to let him roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. What a fun project. Okay, a little challenging. You know the directions, how they are on these things. This is pretty awesome, actually. I love Mega the way Andy. he goes. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, you know, Cameron's going to have hours of fun with him playing. <laughs> Like and subscribe. All right. All right. Yeah. If you like the video, please give us a like. And like Cameron said, and of course, you want to see more toy videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.